A footprint on the ground is much more than a mark. It can reveal information about what or who left it, what it was doing at that time, what the environment was like, where it was wandering, its weight, its size and its habits. Sometime between March and April of 2021, a paper was published announcing that two biologists discovered Neanderthal footprints while strolling along the beach of Matalasianas in Duniana National Park in June 2020. These Neanderthals left these footprints about 100,000 years ago along the coast of what is now southern Spain, leaving behind footprints as they padded through the sand. Many millennia later, the footprints the group left in the sand were discovered by a group of paleontologists examining nearby fossilized animal tracks, and researchers studying these fossilized footfalls say that some were left by a youngster jumping regularly as though dancing. Altogether, 87 Neanderthal footprints were found. They were only recently revealed due to recent heavy rains in the area. Prior evidence showed that the area was once an inland watering hole. The researchers used special equipment to scan the prints and determine their size, depth and owners. The researchers were able to identify the prints as belonging to Neanderthals based on the anatomy of the footprints as well as knowledge about the successive inhabitants of prehistoric Spain. They also concluded that a total of 36 individuals, including 11 children and 25 adults, created the markings, and these are now thought to be the oldest Neanderthal hominid tracks in Europe. Researchers say that by correlation with other European sites, it can be established that there is a direct relationship between the size of a footprint and the age of the individual who produced it. Of these 25 adults, 5 were female, 14 were male and 6 were of undetermined sex. Most of the beach walking adults would have stood between 4 and 5 feet or 1.3 to 1.5 meters tall. But 4 prints seem to have been made by an individual who was over 6 feet or 1.8 meters tall. Another group of researchers wrote that 6 feet is taller than the expected height of Neanderthals. So, the print may have been made by a shorter individual with a heavy gait. The two smallest markings measured just 5.5 inches long. Scholars speculate that a six-year-old child left these petite prints behind. The researchers noted that the adults all appeared to be walking directly down the beach, while the children did as youngsters do, darting about half as atly. They did not find any evidence that might explain why such a large group of Neanderthals was walking along a beach but suggest they might have been hunting or fishing. The prints are a large step forward for knowledge about our ancient relatives. However, there are still many questions left to be answered. Answering for an interview, the author suggests that the Neanderthals made the impressions while hunting for birds and small carnivores, fishing near a communal watering hole, or searching for shellfish. Some suggested, though, that they could have also simply been frolicking on the shore. Scientists say the fact that Matalasianas is located on the coast does not necessarily mean that Neanderthals spend more time in this type of environment and that we must keep in mind that Neanderthals were hunter-gatherers who moved regularly to acquire resources. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. Tell us what you think of it in the comment section down below and for more related videos, do remember to check our channel out. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.